Overview. What is it? It's almost six years since Lamborghini introduced the Aventador to replace the Murcielago. Six years and although we've had a hot one, the SV, and one with lift-out roof panels, the Roadster, the LP704 has otherwise soldiered on while around it the supercar market has changed beyond all recognition. The Holy Trinity have been and gone, and in pretty much the same period McLaren has gone from a standing start to having a three-model range with LT this, Spider that and GTR Gorb Lyman. What's been occupying Lamborghini? Well, the Huracan obviously, plus SUV dithering, and a bunch of diversionary one-offs such as the Egoista and Sesto Elemento. But Lamborghini can get away with this because there's nothing else quite like the Aventador. It's Supercar 101, looks, noise, power, drama. Don't overthink it, just do it. Pure pageantry. Alongside Lamborghini everyone else takes themselves too seriously. Among car companies only Lamborghini looks like it's having fun. Oh sure, details of the new Aventador S contain all the usual stuff about new four-wheel steering systems, a 130% improvement of front axle downforce, and a whole new control unit to marshal inputs from all the active systems, but none of it, no matter how high-tech, overshadows the drama. Briefly then, this is how the Aventador S shapes up. It still uses the same central carbon tub with aluminium sub-frames fore and aft. It drives all four wheels through a central Haldex clutch. The engine is the same 6.5-liter naturally aspirated V12, but the valve timing and variable intakes have been altered, yielding another 40 bhp and exactly 1 pound-feet more torque. The power gain is also aided by a raised rev limiter, from 8,350 rpm to 8,500 rpm. But, as ever, it's the way the Aventador looks that sets the tone for the car. It's a jaw-dropper alright. The proportions haven't changed much, but the nose, taking cues from the SV, is more open and aggressive channeling cooling air past fangs and splitters to vast standard fit 400mm ceramic brakes. Air is also swept down the flanks to the intakes, extra ducts on the roof, give the S a more hunkered down stance, and together with the rear arch shape give something of the flavor of the old countage, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. The curb weight is the same, the rear steer mechanism added 6 kilograms and necessitated a wholesale redesign of the rear suspension, but a new exhaust system, rounded off by three pipes exiting in a triangle, saved 6 kilograms, so we're all square. There's an active rear wing and vortex generators underneath to maximize airflow and aid brake cooling. Driving. What is it like on the road, Lamborghini Aventador S front quarter, this is not the Aventador we know and, mostly, love. The outgoing car was a mighty thing, but it didn't have the liveliest chassis. You were aware it was a heavy car, dominated by its engine, not something that wanted to dance to your tune. The S is a car transformed. I'd stop short of saying it's outright playful, but the agility, the steering, the weight management, 
the integration of all the systems, it's a big big step forward. Central to this is the new 4WS system. Everyone is fitting these now, but Lamborghini does seem to have pushed the system further than most. The rear wheel can turn up to 3 degrees at low speed, giving the sense that the Aventador has a 500mm shorter wheelbase. Rarely do car firms line up old against new on a launch, but they did here, and through ice slalom the difference was amazing, the S was far more agile, you could feel both ends helping out, where the old car seemed to be dragging an anchor behind it. At higher speeds the rears turn the same way as the fronts, making the wheelbase seem 700mm longer. Up goes stability, and up goes confidence. On circuit it feels much more alert too. Now, while the pictures you're looking at show a lovely dry track, the reality was pouring rain and flooded corners. No matter which way you cut it, or how many wheels you divvy it up between, 730 bhp is a lot to cope with in these conditions. Especially when it spat at the tarmac through 255 30th ZR20 front tires and colossal 355 25th ZR21 rears. Due to the rear steering Lambo teamed up with Pirelli to develop a brand new P0 compound for the car. Now because it was wet, all the Aventador S did when you turned in was understeer. You'd hear the tires grumble and push wide. But although this wasn't ideal, the important thing was that you could feel what the car was up to and do something about it. The S has a variable steering rack. Normally I hate these, but this setup didn't offend me. It's very direct off-center, but without feeling nervous, because it's balanced and assisted by the rear steering. So when the front end slid, I could back off the throttle, and the car would tighten its line. It's surprisingly adjustable and wears its weight lightly, 1,575 kilograms is a dry weight, actual curb weight is probably around the 1,700 kilograms mark. This behavior changes depending on driving mode. On track you can ignore Strata Street because the gear shifts are too slow and the engine not quite alert enough. Sport is spot on for wet circuit driving, sending up to 90% of torque rearwards, while Corsa, which is focused on fast laps, can only direct 80% aft. In Corsa you also have to put up with a fairly savage right and a completely savage urchin. New is Evo, which allows you to select your own settings for the steering, suspension and drivetrain. About time too. The Aventador S retains the sequential manual ISR7 speed gearbox. Lamborghini claims to have sharpened it up and improved it, but compared to the latest twin clutchers, it's a dinosaur.
It may be lighter and easier to package, but the shifts are either noticeably slow or head-bangingly savage. Of course you can lift off to smooth them out, and you could argue that this is good character building stuff. But compare it to an Audi R8 or Ferrari 488, and it feels 20 years old. On the inside, layout, finish and space, Lamborghini Aventador S interior, I have a favorite thing I do when I get in a Lamborghini. I put my little finger on top of the steering wheel and span my hand to the ceiling. It's about 4-5 inches. Yet the windscreen is about 4-5 feet deep. You're looking out through a slot, basically. That may make it sound as if visibility is woeful, but in actual fact it's not bad. The scuttle is low, the A-pillars plunge forwards and away, and you see enough earth and sky to get by pretty happily. Yes, there's a lot of metalwork and engine behind to get in the way, but while others can't see in through the slatted back deck, the view out is tolerable, actually. The door mirrors sit proud enough of the bodywork too. But this is a wide wide car and very low too. Access is just so theatrical, the doors swing up, you step over the broad sill, and then lower yourself in, down, and down, until Levi's touch leather in a seat that, well, it's okay. Lamborghini doesn't do great seats. The ones in the Aventador SV are basically two paving slabs. These are better, but they're mounted too high, and you don't snuggle down into them properly, and the side bolsters aren't big enough to hold you in place. The dash layout hasn't changed much and, nor has the center console. You'll cope, but since we're forever criticizing Bentley for their aging VW sourced infotainment systems in the Conti GT, it's only fair to have a pop at Lambo for the same thing. I vaguely remember seeing this system in an A4 about 10 years ago. It really could have done with a refresh here, but I'm not going to argue with where Lambo spent its money, the driving experience is more important. And there's Apple CarPlay as standard, so if you plug your phone and you don't have to look at the nasty graphics anymore. But sitting in the Aventador S is an event in itself, and, seat aside, the driving position is great. The wheel pulls way out of the dash, you pull the door down to close it, stare out through the slot, flick up the cover on the start button, feel and hear this mighty beast fire up behind and well, life feels pretty good at that moment.